Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher's Circus. Today we're going to be playing against Crack Main, also known as Chain Moon, and it looks like they are bringing... Yeah, I, I know exactly what this is, so it's not exactly a quadruple E team. It is a quadruple E team, but it's going to be focused more on the synergy of Crimson Hook and Carnival Mask with the Caltrips just to do unreal amounts of stress because um okay actually before that goes down let's go for a pull on that uh hound monster preemptive pull so what's gonna happen here is he's gonna drop a caltrips he's gonna bleed all my characters and with the hound monster he's gonna be doing like plus 50 percent stress and plus crits like the stress is gonna be absolutely wild same thing with the flatulent like the carnival mask and crimson hook combined means that he's doing plus 45 percent stress and then the caltrips adds another plus five percent it is absolutely wild. Yeah, you can see that 5% right there. The amount of stress he's going to do is totally brutal. And then the man at arms has shield spike and spiked bat for the for the repost bleed. That is, that is a bit trollish. That is definitely way more troll than this, but it's still quite funny to see. He actually doesn't go for the immediate guard, which means I could just go for a sniper shot here. But um, the sniper shot does have a missed chance. So what the hell are you doing, Shep? What team is this? You're saying that your opponent's team is kind of weird, well, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I'll explain, so, the team I'm playing here is uh, the Howlers from 135 Jayman, you know, having this double backline shooter and the Bounty Hunter, but it has a Plague Doctor in position 1. Typically, the Howlers has a Hound Master in position 1, which is gonna howl, he's not gonna howl, I'm joking, he's gonna mark the enemy characters, he's gonna have a lot of dodge, he's potentially gonna guard, and he's gonna have blackjack to stun the enemy characters, and he's even gonna have a Hound's Harry to potentially get some death blows. There isn't a play, there isn't a Hound Master here, instead there's a Plague Doctor, and what's, what's the Plague Doctor gonna do? Instead of marking the enemy, fuck, instead of marking the enemy characters, it's gonna, it's, um, it's gonna buff up the shooters, so it's as if the enemy characters were already marked before they are even marked with the plus damage. That is kind of the idea here. So we failed at 90% chance of getting the hit because such is the way of the Butcher Circus. There is no justice in this world and we are unlucky. That is all I'm gonna say. Wow, 34 stress. Yeah, look at that. That is too much. Okay, I am thinking there are a few things I can do right now, but we definitely have to kill. We definitely have to get a kill on that Hound Master, that's for sure. I'm gonna drop an incision on him, honestly. Let's drop that incision. <laughs> yeah, and after she's done um, using Bonding Vapors on the other characters, she can actually just drop an incision with the Amputation Saw and do a reasonable amount of damage, honestly. He's gonna go Lick Wounds, that is quite smart. And why is that quite smart? Well, it is quite smart because um, the mark is gonna go away. And when the mark goes away, that means that uh, he can guard and I'm gonna have a really bad time here. So I'm actually gonna do something quite interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna go mark for death on a character that's 5 HP, and that's gonna apply the debuff. Why is that so important? That means that when I shoot him... <laughs> you fucker! He actually... <laughs> that's not gonna save you. That is not gonna save you, my man. I'm gonna go... Buckshot because I'm built different. Yeah, he, he decided to move back with the flagellant because he thought like, aha, you can't shoot me if I'm in position one. Aha, you can't shoot a doggy now. But no, we just go buckshot because he didn't realize that, you know, when your character is down to zero HP pretty much, I'm not marking for the damage. I'm marking so I can bypass the guard, so it's totally fine. I have to believe that that Hound Monster is dead. We're gonna have a really good death blow chance. Do I even need to do it? Like, I go first next round, do I even need to go for this, honestly? I could just drop a death blow there and then just go for a finish him. Yeah, I could just drop this crit here. I don't need to go for the for the kill right now, and why is that? Because if he guards, I'm gonna get an 85% death blow and he's gonna miss an action. If he doesn't guard, I'm gonna get a confirmed death blow. So, yeah, that's how it goes. He's gonna guard. <laughs> He's gonna guard. Watch out, guys. He's gonna guard. He's gonna guard. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? Well, anyway. I press sniper shot, and the Hound Monster is dead, exactly as I'd say. Of course, there was a 15% chance this plan would horribly backfire. But we don't care, we just uh, we just do this and we are totally fine, we are totally chilling here. And now that Flagellant is also pretty close to that store. Oh, that's gonna be an uppercut. Ooh, please fail. It doesn't, it doesn't fail, guys. Okay. Now the thing is, um... 
Okay, 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 okay. There are, there are a few things I want to do right here. First things first, I'm going to go incision on this bounty hunter. Now, what's going to happen? I don't want this flagellant to move forward. I do not want him to move forward. If he moves forward, I'm going to go buckshot. Uh, oh, he's going to guard? Is he actually going to guard? Oh, that is smart. That is quite smart. Okay, okay, that makes my situation a little more tricky here. Yeah, the idea was, if he moves forward, I would go buckshot, and then I could go finish him, but since he guards, I'm actually going to have a pretty hard time dealing with that. I don't want to immediately go for a... I don't want to immediately go for a... How do you call it? For a buckshot, because I could just knock back the corpse, and then the flash one gets a free turn, which I definitely don't want that to happen, so I'm going to mark there instead, even if I don't act on this mark, which potentially might happen because 10 to 18 i mean 10 to 18 i i'm just gonna focus about hunter instead 30 crit 30 with the musketeer ah oh, no mark by the way so yeah that emboldening vapors is really helping we even had a bellow debuff by the way who cares he's gonna go he's gonna go redeem he's gonna heal for quite a decent amount honestly but after he heals for that decent amount i'm gonna go for another aimed shot and he's gonna he's gonna take it. He's gonna take some pain. Okay, he's gonna heal for 17. Wow, that's not enough. That's not enough. How does he only heal for 17? Right, he doesn't have Gauntlet of Absolution, so he doesn't heal for that much. He doesn't have Gauntlet of Absolution. Wait, how did he heal for No, he healed for like 18 on himself. Right, right. He still had like 3 HP. Okay, yeah, we just do four oh, we do 31 this time. Oh my god. That is wild. That is wild how much damage we're doing. No mark, by the way. <laughs> no mark, by the way. Well, the thing is, right now, if he doesn't guard, I will go finish him. But if he does guard, I'm going to totally change my focus to the flash. Not like, just go hardcore on that flash. So he has to decide. Okay, he goes for that. Um, well, the thing here is, I'm thinking of moving back with the Arbalist so I can use uh, finish him. But if I do that, he's going to pull me. He's going to pull me, and then I won't be able to... Oh, won't I be able to get a kill? I move back, he pulls me. I, I can I can still go Caltrips. Uh, between Caltrips and Plague Doctor, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's move back. He might even fail to come hither. So what I'm thinking here is, right now he goes come hither, he pulls me. I go to position 2, I can't use finish him. But even if he does that, I will have incision into Caltrips, uh, because I'll be in position 4, right? I won't be able to use finish him. So between incision and Caltrips, I should be very likely to just get the death blow anyway. So I'm going to go with the incision. It's going to be a 25% chance of getting the death blow. No incision kill. I'm lucky. We really want to see incision kill. Also, we didn't get the bleed, even though we have plus 30% bleed skill chance. Yeah, we don't talk about those. It's not really necessary anyway, but ah, we failed the death blow. Okay, that is that is quite annoying, actually, that we failed that death blow. Yeah, it's just 25 and 65 failing those, and also he got the 50% pull, right? That is quite annoying that he actually got all those there. <laughs> now he gets to go defender. No! No! Do I still have enough of a capability to just get a kill on that flash? Not really. Not really. Not anymore. Oh shit, this is actually quite bad for us. Oh yes, finish him. Oh yes, finish him. Oh yes, finish him. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. How do I get through that guard? I don't. I need to focus on the flash. I need to focus on the flash. Somehow, some way, impossibly, but possibly. Okay, I'm gonna go for an incision. Thing is, since he doesn't have uh, Gauntlet of Absolution, he can't go healing skills twice, because he'll just he'll just take a lot of damage from that. Uh, I mean, he, he can't go healing skills twice because then the next time he won't be able to heal. So that's kind of the idea here. Okay, that's gonna afflict me because of the infamous visage, masochistic. <laughs> no. No, not masochistic. No. Okay, we're gonna click the musketeer. We do still have the plus damage, so I'm probably still doing a lot of damage with this buckshot. Yeah, 4 to 7 isn't too bad. Ooh, crit for 8 on the mana arms. 70% prot, by the way. Minion ball, I love you. We love you. Okay, he's at this door, which means he's gonna have to heal. He's probably gonna heal with an exsanguinate, I'd say. That's by far the best way that he has, but he might miss. Uh, oh, what? Really? He's gonna go exterminate on the Plague Doctor. He's spreading the damage. Why? I'm not too sure why he'd do that, honestly. I'm not too sure, actually. 
I could go finish him first, but uh, I'm gonna go Bola instead. If Bola crits, I'll still be... If Bola crits, I'll still be able to do enough damage, but eh, I guess not. I guess not, my gentleman. Ah, uh, get off this Yarl just oofs herself on the first 25. Ah, uh, from the masochistic. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, he's gonna click that bounty hunter. No, please don't pull my musketeer. Please fail, please fail. Okay, that's gonna pull. Yeah, that's gonna pull, but um, he is at this door. So right now, I have to move back two positions. I am forced to move back two positions here. He could change the guard, which would honestly be the best play, or not the best play. Hmm, he could just try to afflict me and hope I do something stupid. Really, he's gonna go try to afflict me. He's not gonna try saving one of the characters. I am quite surprised he goes for that, but... Unless a uh, masochistic bounty hunter can't do an act out, I would screw us over here, honestly, because he can hit himself, he can move forward, he can say something stupid, he can mark himself, but he's never gonna act out, like, hit another, hit, like, something else, or he's never gonna act out to move backwards, he only act out to move forward, so masochistic was the best affliction to get here, honestly. Apart from maybe abusive, abusive would have been good as well, but uh, yeah, we just get to go for that hit, and now we are we are in a decent position here. Decent, not great, only decent. But actually, this playing doctor is going to be quite valuable here because um, oh, I can oh, oh, abusive musketeer, abusive musketeer. Oh, do I want to do it? Well, she's going to have to heal herself first. Oh fuck yes, I want to do it. <laughs> Abusive Musketeer with two damage buffs and a crit buff. <laughs> oh please, don't get the death blow with come hither. Please, he doesn't have any extra death blow chance. Please fail. No, my action. My action is gone. No, this game. And I go hopeless. Yes, I do. I go hopeless. What is this game about? Oh, that was a 40% chance. Why do you do this to me? I'm gonna have to go incision here. That's uh, that's gonna do a bleed on the man at arms, but he still has repulse with spike shield. How the hell am I supposed to kill that? With 40% prot as well? How the hell is my stupid bounty hunter supposed to kill that? Yeah, he's just gonna get the death blow next round on the plague doctor, and then and then I'm totally screwed. He has extra death blow dealt chance versus afflicted, by the way. So what that means is that this is pretty much a finisher right now. Yeah, it's pretty much a finisher at this point. <laughs> it's just gonna get the extra death blow chance versus plague doctor, so he can't even fail the death blow. And then how the hell am I gonna kill that man at arms? Did he pass? Why the hell did he pass? I, I have no clue. Well, the thing is, going for a, um, a come hither does nothing to me right for me right now. So I'm just going to move forward two positions here. Hmm, maybe I should only move. Maybe I should have only moved forward one because now he can actually uppercut me to the back. But I, I doubt that happens. Why did he pass that round? Do he not want to go retribution or something? I'm, I'm confused. Maybe he had uh, maybe he had to go get some water or something like that. I don't know. I'm just gonna drop another bleed there. That's actually a lot of bleed being applied. Do you think I have a winning chance here? Uh, I have to kill that f that uh, that man in arms really fast if I want to have a winning chance, because this bounty hunter is about to kill me in two rounds. So I have to kill that uh, that man in arms really fast and then kill him. Yeah, it's. It's it's impossible at this point, but uh, we're gonna do five damage. Yeah, that's that's not enough. That's not enough. I'm gonna give him the satisfaction of going retribution into into a death blow, and I'm obviously gonna hit it at retribution, right? Yeah, I'm at this door now. Masochistic bounty hunter at this door with the finisher. Oh boy! Woohoo! Over here, marks himself. Yeah, that doesn't do too much, fortunately. That's gonna be the repulse, and that's gonna be the confirmed death for him. So GG Cragmane. That was that was a wild match. <laughs> that was totally wild. GG's.